Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 23 rebuild. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the New York Jets, but with the new addition of Aaron Rodgers. As you can see, he's obviously not on the team yet. I will trade for him because there has been rumors because number one, Nathaniel Hackett got hired the day I'm recording this. Nathaniel Hackett got hired as the Jets offensive coordinator. So Jets, I, I'm unfortunately going to have to say your team's going to suck next season regardless because Nathaniel Hackett is your offensive coordinator. Everyone's saying, oh, well, he's linked to Aaron Rodgers and this, that. I don't care. Nathaniel Hackett <laughs> sucks as an offensive coordinator. He's like probably worse than Bill O'Brien who just got hired as well as an offensive coordinator. So, um, yeah, maybe you pr better pray and hope to God that Nathaniel Hackett is just knows every little minute detail of Aaron Rodgers' games and can bring you a godsend of a Super Bowl because Nathaniel Hackett sucks and so does Zach Wilson. So we're going to be trading him away as well. And I have no idea where he'll go. No, I have a great idea where he'll go. The Commanders, they love taking used up quarterbacks who cost nothing. So yeah, we're going to be trading for Aaron Rodgers. And they said... Aaron Rodgers, they're willing to give up two first round picks for him, which I think is crazy. All these teams are going for an all or nothing Super Bowl. And the problem with that is if one or two teams does it, it's fine. But whenever more than five teams go for the all in on the Super Bowl run, it's like you guys aren't all going to get it. Only one person can get it. Only one team can get it. And it's crazy that people want to do this all in. Let's give away all our picks. I think the Rams got really lucky with that Super Bowl by trading away all their picks. And now every team is doing it, which spices up the league a little bit. But dang, unfortunate. Anyways, let's trade for Aaron Rodgers. So there it is. I'm giving away both my first round picks for Aaron Rodgers. Now I'm going to have to find a trade destination for Zach Wilson. Now I'm trading away Zach Wilson to the Commanders for a next year's second round pick and a next year's fourth round pick. That's honestly pretty good value for how terrible he is. So now we have 38 years old, 17 years experience, and now 18 after this year. Out of California, Aaron Rodgers on the team. Superstar X Factor. Great ratings overall. Really, 79 speed? That seems a bit generous, but I guess he uh, I guess he is that fast. You know, we got Bryce Hall here. Or is it Brees Hall? I'm stupid. I'm Brees Hall, I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry for Jets fans watching this. But I will say, Michael Carter is quite underrated. How did James Robinson go from like an 86 at the start of the season to a 76? Yikes, that's rough. Garrett Wilson looks like a stud. Offensive Rookie of the Year candidate. I think he should probably win it. I really like him as the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Corey Davis, who was a top five pick, unfortunately. And then uh, Elijah Moore, Tyler Conklin, CJ Uzama. I believe is how you pronounce that. Makai Becton. I don't know why he has Superstar Dev. And Jets fans getting mad at me for this. I'm going to give him... I'm just going to give him Star Dev because there's still potential here. He's still a huge guy. But Superstar Dev seems kind of crazy for Makai Becton. So I am going to drop it down to Star Development. He's going to be my right tackle, but he is not a superstar player. I can tell you that. CJ Mosley is aging. Say with, same with Quan Alexander. Um, Jermaine Johnson. God, Bryce Huff, Carl Lawson. I would like Jermaine Johnson to start over Carl Lawson, if I'm being honest. Because Carl Lawson's already 27. He's 28 in real life. Is this... Uh, Sauce Gardner needs to be defensive rookie of the year. Dude, absolutely balled out. Dude's amazing. Great pick for them. Yeah, I'm going to take Jermaine Johnson over Carl Lawson, if I'm being real. And Bryce Huff is honestly not bad either. How big is Carl Lawson? He's not big enough to play defensive tackle, unfortunately. So I'm just going to move into the specialist and see what we got here. I want to have Jermaine Johnson rushing off the edge. Brees Hall is going to take all the reps because I'm not re-signing um, James Robinson. I was about to say Brian Robinson. Okay, um, yeah, I like everything else that we got here. We have the, a little bit of improving to do, but we can't really draft anything in the draft without a first-round pick, which is a little bit unfortunate. So apart from that, guys, I would say it's now time to move in to the midseason mark and see what we got. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 2-5. in five. Okay. Our offense is 6th in passing, passing games, okay, but 29th in points per game, and our defense is ranked 23rd, which makes no sense. Let's go with linebacker. I'm going to go with middle linebacker. If we do draft a bunch of middle linebackers, I can just move them to outside linebacker. LaMarcus Joyner, Greg DeLeg. Bryce Huff is someone that I want to keep, but I can't really use him because I have John Franklin Myers and Jermaine Johnson and Carl Lawson, and he is a good player too. Can I give him? Man, I do want to keep him. No, I just can't pay him as much as I would want to because he is a backup for us. James Robinson can walk. John Rankins. All these guys here I'm just not impressed with. I don't like anyone here, so I am just going to let them all walk. So apart from that, guys, it's not time to move in into the playoffs. Here we are at the end of the season as we are 7-10, third in the division. 
Yikes, what happened, Aaron Rodgers? Okay, no, he had a good pass yards and passing touchdowns. Terrible pass rating. 16th best offense, 14th best defense. 4,800 yards, 32 touchdowns. Oh my God, that's so many interceptions. Brees Hall, 12 touchdowns, 3.5 per carry, 1,000 yards. Realistically, he would have so much more than this. Corey Davis would never hit these numbers. <laughs> Elijah Moore, 5 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Tyler Conklin, 6 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. Looking at it defensively, C.J. Mosley, 121 tackles, tackles for a loss. 16 for Quinn and Williams. Sacks, 13 for Quinn and Williams. 8.5 for Jermaine Johnson. Good rookie season, 10 tackles for a loss and 8.5 eight sacks. Interceptions, 5 for D.J. Reed. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns is one for Sauce Gardner. DJ Reed had a great year. Sauce Gardner with the pick six. That's nice. So anyways, guys, it's time to move into the offseason. Jalen Hurts wins the Super Bowl MVP and the league MVP. And looking at it, there are no Jets here for the awards as the Eagles beat the Ravens 27-24 in the Super Bowl. Let's see what we got here for the offensive upgrades. Offensively, Mekhi Becton's now our left tackle, apparently. Okay. Corey Davis is a superstar. Don't even plan to re-sign him, but whatever. Um, Sauce Gardner is a superstar dev. I'm pretty sure he came with that. Maybe EA changed it. Quinn Williams got superstar dev. And they started Carl Lawson over Jermaine Johnson, which I don't like, but <laughs> whatever. Hopefully, he did get to play some reps at least. And we got the Marcus Joyner. Oh, no, I don't want specifically QB, please. Um, yeah, Bryce Huff still doesn't want to play here. Everyone, I just don't like anyone. I don't need anyone. Solomon Thomas is on the Jets. It's so weird to think about. We got the AFC East for our conference, I believe. So right, du yeah, Dwayne Brown, Joe Flacco, and another left tackle retires for us. Don't really care about that. How much money do we have to spend? We have 64 million. Let's move to free agency. After free agency, we got Adrian Amos, Matt Gay on a cheap deal, Cody Barton, and Blake Gilligan all on a cheap deal. Nobody really wanted to play for our team, so it was kind of hard to find free agents. So anyways, let's move into the draft. In the second round, I'm picking up strong safety Brian Lowry, or Lowry, out of Washington. Only normal dev, unfortunately. His skills were alright, though. Here we are after the draft. This is what the team is looking like. I mainly drafted a lot of linemen, and they really didn't seem that good other than Paul Miner here, who's a 74 overall, but only normal development, which is unfortunate. And yeah, we need a lot of help here now that I look at it. It really wasn't even a good linebacker class either. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Cody Barton, and I'm going to move him to the left outside linebacker position. Maybe that will help us just a little bit rather than paying someone so much money. And then, well, not even that much money, but still. Um, this guy's not going to develop in time. Whitehead. Yeah, this guy, I want him to be my free safety, actually. Now that I got Adrian Amos. So I only picked him up because he just looks like the best player available on the board. He's a, he is a 75 overall, just normal dev, which is unfortunate. So um, I'm actually going to take him make him the starter over ashton davis and yeah the d-line is looking good i'm i am gonna trade away carl lawson i want to try and get a first round pick and maybe trade away some picks for him because it was brutal not having a first round pick so i'm trading away carl lawson for a second round pick i really couldn't get the deal done unless i traded him to the bills i'm not going to trade him to a division rival so i traded him away to the carolina panthers for their second round pick i guess we'll see let's move to the midseason mark here we are at the midseason mark as we are four and two top of division coming off a loss to the philadelphia eagles that's that's an improvement boys we are improving four and two is much better than two and five but i still believe we do have a linebacker problem and we are going to need to address that i am scouting linebacker once again quarterback hopefully aaron Rodgers does not retire throughout the rebuild because we gave away two first round picks for him so we better bring his super bowl quentin williams is a must-have player back ever play friendly player friendly low risk and he resigns bryce hall i would like back and he wants to wait until the offseason okay jordan whitehead can walk makai becton since he's 24 and he does have star i did say he was a bust I am going to re-sign him just because in Madden, he's not really much of a bust. Um, Corey Davis can walk. Ashton Davis walk. Braden Mann walk. Walk, 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 walk. All these can walk, a walk, a walk away. And um, Bryce Hall is the only one that I want. So he'll we'll negotiate him in the offseason. So apart from that, guys, let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a loss to the Chargers. So we had as we are 11-6 top of the division here to face the division rivals, the 9-8 New England Patriots. Aaron Rodgers was shit uh 30th best offense in the nfl 23rd defense and somehow we win 11-6 hey a win's a win i guess 4200 yards 31 touchdowns 13 interceptions 
Uh, Brees Hall, 12 touchdowns, 4.3 per carry, 1,200 yards. Garrett Wilson, 1,000-yard season, 6 touchdowns. Looking at it defensively, C.J. Mosley, 132 tackles, tackles for a loss, 14 for Jermaine Johnson, sacks, 14 for John Franklin Myers, 13 for Quinton Williams, and 10 for Jermaine Johnson. This is why I wanted to start him, especially because I don't have to pay him now. And in interception, 6 for Sauce Gardner. Hopefully he gets X-Factor, safety, 0 defensive touchdowns, 3 for Sauce Gardner, 1 for Brian Lowry or Lowry. I, I always hate trying to pronounce that name. Still, he had a good season. He had a good rookie season as he had. How many interceptions? He had two interceptions, three deflections, and one pick six. Nice job. I like that, but Sauce Gardner definitely deserves superstar X Factor after the season. But let's see if we can beat the New England Patriots to move on to the divisional round, and we do not. 41 to 30, as our team ranks honestly were really shitty. But apart from that, let's move into the offseason. And the Ravens beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson was the Super Bowl MVP. Jalen Hurts wins back-to-back -back league MVPs, and there are no awards here. Actually, there is an award here, as we got Coach of the Year at 11-6. and six. Makes no sense. Our team ranks were terrible, but sure, I guess. I guess I'll take a coach award. But looking at the offensive upgrades offensively, we look the exact same. And defensively, Sauce Gardner is an X-Factor. That's what I wanted to see. John Franklin Myers with 14 sacks doesn't get superstars. Kind of disrespectful. And this guy actually had a pretty good season. I'm tempted to give him a star, but I'm not going to because I know people will get pissed at me. Jordan White, head can walk. Adrian Amos, I'm not, not even going to have on the team next season. Cody Barton got star dev. And who is this Greenberry guy? Who is this guy? He is 6'2", 190, 73 overall. I don't think I can develop him. I don't know if I will be able to develop him because I already have a great defensive back core. So... I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> he's, he's just going to have to deal with it. So, And we are going to look at the AFC East. Nobody in the AFC East retires, surprisingly. And looking at the players ready to negotiate. I'm looking for the Von Miller retirement for the Bills. Uh, Bryce Hall, I, I already, um, already submitted player-friendly. Let's give him a little bit more of a bonus. And he still wants to hit free agency. You know, we got that 73 overall superstar. Hit free agency. Screw you. Uh, Corey Davis, Ashton Davis, all these guys, I don't care. They can all hit free agency. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to jump into free agency with $82 million to spend. So we got CeeDee Lamb, an elite weapon for Aaron Rodgers, Anton Winfield Jr., Trent Brown, and uh, Jordan Brooks to replace uh, CJ Mosley. So team looks pretty good. I like that. The defense has improved a lot. Now let's move into the NFL draft. In the second round, I'm picking up Jacoby Jenkins. Jenkins, he looked phenomenal on paper, but I guess he only has normal dev. A catching, A catching traffic, A deep route, B run block. He looked great, but I guess not. In the second round, I'm picking up right guard Otis Harold out of Vanderbilt. Hidden development, six foot three, three oh six. Only 83 strength, but he will be a good piece for our offensive line. In the second round, with another second round pick, I got Bud Swain or Swan. Out of Ohio State, speed rusher, six foot one at 286. A little bit undersized for a defensive tackle, but he has hidden development. Here we are after the draft, and Harold, I'm going to take, as he is a 74 overall, I'm going to take him and move him into the center position so that way we can officially complete our offensive line. And people are saying, oh, it's unrealistic to move him from guard to center. I don't care. It happens all the time in real life. Offensive line looks great, something that Aaron Rodgers can actually rely on. I took this Jenkins guy with the second round pick. Doesn't really seem that good. Can I cut Uzama, bro? Like, he's just not needed. Yeah, it'll free up cap space. I don't need a second string tight end taking up $8 million a year. Um, yeah, I like the rest of this team. Knox I got in the third round. Doesn't seem that bad. CD, CD's nuts is looking pretty good. And yeah, the rest of the players here, pretty good. Uh, that defensive tackle I picked up is 73 overall with the boost. And yeah, nothing really here to complain about. Going to move Greenberry up. Adrian Amos is going to start over that rookie I had last season, Anton Winfield Jr. Yeah, team is looking good. It's honestly up to Aaron Rodgers to produce. He's already regressed down to an 82 overall, which is ridiculous. So anyways, I got to rock out with him. It's part of the rebuild. Let's move to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-1 top of the division, but that can be gone at any point. Look how contested this division is. Patriots are 5-1, Bills are 5-2. If we lose once, we can immediately drop down to third. Uh, we can't go fourth because Dolphins suck. Um, stat, not stats and awards. I was about to say that. Scouting national focus. Um, we don't need linebacker anymore. Don't need offensive line. Really? I mean, outside linebacker, yeah. But honestly, we're looking all right. So I'm going to go, man, I'm going to go outside linebacker this time instead of middle linebacker. Either way, it's just good to see. 
So still need an outside linebacker and a players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we got here. As we could lose this division at any point in time. Will Morris, just some random free agency signing. DJ Reed is a player that I need back. I cannot just let him walk, kind of like uh, Bryce Hall, and he resigns. Lajavir Tucker is a needed player. Spread out the deal to five years, and he resigns. And Elijah Moore, I would like this as well for five years, and he resigns. Tyler Conklin can walk. Adrian Amos, uh, he can walk. Lakeland Tomlinson, I would like back. Uh, let's give him a little bit more, honestly. And he resigns. Good stuff. CJ Mosley can walk. Honestly, what, what's his contract, though? Oh, that's dummy cheap. I'll take that for another year. I'll take him as a second string back if it's that cheap. Michael Carter? I would like Michael Carter as a second string back as long as it's a cheaper price. Michael Carter the second, though, don't want him. They're somehow not related. It's really weird. Um, everyone else here, don't really like. So apart from that, guys, we are in the third season. Let's see if we can make the playoffs. And here we're on the playoffs, missing the playoffs, going 8-9. I literally said we couldn't get bottom of the division because the Dolphins suck. But that's how bad our season crashed. Coming off a of win to the Titans. Stats and awards. Let's see what happens. Rodgers was actually good this season. 10th best offense. Was our defense shitty? 16th, middle of the road. And still, we played terrible. Rodgers still has 16 receptions, which is too many. Brees Hall, 17 touchdowns, 4.1 per carry, 1,200 yards. Jack Conklin balled out. I mean, not Jack Conklin, Tyler Conklin balled out. Elijah Moore, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, 11 touchdowns. And wow, CD Lamb is the most paid receiver and the best receiver on our team. Didn't even put up 1,000 yards. Two yards shy and not even double-digit touchdowns. Two touchdowns shy as well. Jordan Brooks, 123 tackles, tackles for a loss. 14 for Jermaine Johnson. Sacks, 17 for John Franklin Myers. 11.5 for Jermaine Johnson. 10.5 for Quinton Williams. John Franklin Myers should definitely get superstar dev after having 12 tackles for a loss and 17 sacks. Interceptions, three for DJ Reed. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say that it is now time to move in to the fourth and final season. The weirdest Super Bowl score I've ever seen, two to 48. The Packers got like a safety at the beginning of the game. We're like, yeah, no, we're not going to play defense anymore and allow them to score 48 points on us. Legereus Sneed, that is the weirdest score ever. 46 point blowout, 46 point lead blowout. Legereus Sneed is the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen was the league MVP and there are no awards here for the New York Jets. Hopefully Rodgers doesn't retire because he actually had a good season for us, but we'll see the player upgrades to see what we got. Offensively surprising, how does Garrett Wilson not get superstar dev after this season let me see this again 11 touchdowns uh, i guess people will argue i'll keep him at star dev tyler conklin balled out for a tight end but again i'm not going to argue it i'll just leave him at start of harold is only a star dev that's fine with me defensively yeah john franklin myers is getting superstar dev if you want to cry about it in the comments you can 12 tackles for a loss and 17 sacks in the season he's averaging a sack a game dude like that does not come easy people <laughs> People think, oh, only one sack a game really isn't that big of an impact. It's a huge impact, dude. Nobody notices enough. And yeah, I need an outside linebacker. CJ Mosley is only going to be back for the final year. Adrian Amos, I'll let walk as my second string is cheaper. And he's same overall. So man, unfortunate, dude. I guess the defense is the problem since our offense was top 10 this season. But it really doesn't seem like that big of a deal at the same time. So we're going to move into the recent players. Aaron Rodgers, please do not retire in this next season, but he will regress to probably like an 80 overall superstar X Factor, but he still had a great season the previous season, so you can't really blame him. I don't think the Jets trading two first round picks would be wise at all, so hopefully they don't actually do this in real life. So we're going to the AFC East. Aaron Rodgers retires. <laughs> Damn it, dude. See, this is why two first round picks was not worth it. You missed the playoffs twice and you made the playoffs once and lost in the wild card. That's what you gave two first round picks for. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we got. Um, Tyler Conklin. I really think I can get someone better. Yes, he had a good season, but I still think I can get someone better in free agency. We'll look to resign Michael Carter. And if he resigned, yep, that's sick. I like that he resigned. And everyone else here can just walk. I need a quarterback in free agency. And if I can't, I'm kind of screwed. So let's move into it. So since we don't have a quote unquote franchise QB, it's really hard to get anyone in free agency. So we got. Michael Pierce, Rasul Douglas, and Kaiser Y, all old players, but they're just going to be fill-ins for our defense, and we need to draft a QB in the NFL draft because I was trying to get Justin Fields, and I offered him the most money, most everything, and he still signed with the Saints, so sucks to be us. Let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up 
TJ Stern and out of Georgia Tech. Only normal diff, but I guess that really doesn't matter considering he only has one year to play. But he's going to be the starter. Hopefully he leads us to a Super Bowl in year one. So this is the team after the draft. Our quarterback is only a 72 overall, but wasn't really the best quarterback class either. Defensively looking into it, Stevenson, okay, I guess the CPU picked up that guy. I stopped drafting ever since we got our quarterback. I'm assuming this guy being a 75 overall base, he was our second round pick. Let's see, yeah, he was our second round pick because I definitely didn't pick anyone after the quarterback. And yeah, defensively, this is what we got. Not horrible. Honestly, the defense does look pretty good. Offensively, though, it's literally just up to the QB. So apart from that, guys, let's see if this QB can work his magic. Well, the Jets wasted two first round picks on Aaron Rodgers. So let's move into the playoffs in the fourth and final season. Here we are in the playoffs with our 72 overall rookie QB, 11-6 top the division coming off a loss to the Patriots. Wow, we um, kind of dominated our division or the rest of it just kind of sucked. Where was that before? Wow, okay. <laughs> our rookie QB is significantly better Wow, not even top 10? Okay, no, he's top 10 for MVP. I guess it's because his pass rating is 17th, but ninth best offense in the NFL with him. And at fourth best defense. Yeah, he's a lot better than Aaron Rodgers. 41 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. I don't think we saw this type of production from X-Factor Aaron Rodgers at all. Uh, Brees Hall, 1,100 yards, 4.5 per carry, 12 touchdowns. Receiving wise, Elijah Moore, 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, six touchdowns, 1,100 yards. And Jacoby Jenkins, the tight end, finally getting a shot. Gets 109 receptions, 1,100 yards, and 10 touchdowns. CD's nuts with nine touchdowns and only 917 yards. It's a little unfortunate for considering how good he is. Jordan Brooks, 134 tackles, tackles for a loss, 18 for Jermaine Johnson, sacks, 12 for Quentin Williams, eight for John Franklin Myers, and seven and a half for Jermaine Johnson. Uh, interceptions, three for Barton and three for Kaiser White. Safeties on the team is going to be one for John Franklin Myers and defensive touchdowns is zero. So it's unfortunate that we had to give up two first round picks for a player that didn't even produce for us, but let's see if the rookie can, QB can get his first win. I kind of doubt it. I think this is where the video is going to end. It doesn't. 42 to 28. He's got more playoffs win, wins for us than Aaron Rodgers did. So let's see if we can beat the Steelers in the divisional round, as this is our first time being in the divisional round. And we do. 28 to 24, and this is probably where it's going to end as we have to face the Chiefs. Jumping into this conference championship game, let's just move into and end our suffering. Here we are at Arrowhead Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. Seven to nothing, 14 to nothing on us. Okay, we put seven on the board. Good stuff. Okay, we put 14 on the board. Go team with the rookie QB. Yeah, no, we're actually winning. No way. I don't think we're going to win this at all. But yeah, go team. 24 to 17. No way. Our rookie QB. Two score lead. Now back to a one score lead. Now puts it a two score lead again. Wow. We're off to the Super Bowl with the rookie QB. Trading two first round picks for Aaron Rodgers is a waste of capital. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 12 and 5 San Francisco 49ers. Let's see if we have any development upgrades offensively. Our quarterback was top 10 in passing yards and passing touchdowns. They're like, nah, normal dev. He made it to the Super Bowl his rookie year. First ever rookie starting quarterback to do it. But yeah, nah, nah, that's just not okay. Jenkins gets start dev. I'm not going to give him start dev because it really doesn't matter. It's the fourth and final season. Defensively, um, we look the exact same. No way. How crazy. Anyways, let's see if we can beat the San Francisco 49ers to cap off this rebuild. Here we are at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. I think they have one in, Cal in not California, in New Orleans for the Saints too. I don't know if it's Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Either way, I'm rambling like an idiot. We're up 17-7, now 17-7 uh, at halftime, but 20-7. No way. <laughs> no way are we actually going to pull this off on the Niners, dude, with a rookie QB. Yeah, well, the moral of the story, Jets fans, is do not waste your picks and go balls in with Aaron Rodgers and just... Wait a couple of years and you can have someone that looks exactly like Zach Wilson, but he actually wins games and wins you a Super Bowl. So, <laughs> yeah, how many touchdowns did he get? Uh, 295 and two touchdowns, nice stuff. I don't know why Trey Lance is starting whenever Brock Purdy is the GOATS. But, yeah, it's going to be it for the video. I did not expect at all for the end of the season just to pan out amazingly without Aaron Rodgers. I was like, oh, Aaron Rodgers had a good season in the previous season. He, if he stays one more year, I think we could win the Super Bowl. Nope, retires. I have to draft a rookie QB and he just wins the Super Bowl for me. All works out in the end as he wins the Super Bowl MVP as a rookie, doesn't even get rookie of the year, doesn't even get star dev, and I win coach of the year again after going 11-6. That has to be a glitch. 
Doesn't make any sense, but it looks like the Jets have the QB of the future who somehow doesn't even get started out after winning the Super Bowl and Super Bowl MVP as a rookie. So apart from that, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know which rebuild like you would like me to do next. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.